Hello, welcome to the Scriptless Mobile Introduction course. In this video, we will learn how to create a test for a mobile application in Scriptless Mobile tool from scratch. We will use a demo application called Expense Tracker and automate the following test scenario. Install and start the application, enter login details and click Submit, wait 3 seconds, make a screenshot and close the application. Now let's see how to create this test in the Perfecto Scriptless Mobile. To prepare for a test creation, I have already opened a Scriptless Mobile and chosen a device to work with. We have learned how to do this in the previous video. For creating this test, we will use both adding commands from the left menu to the test area and use the object spy to add a command to the test. Let's start with a command to install the application. We can find this action in the Applications folder and drag and drop the chosen command to the test. For this command, we need to specify the application we want to be installed. To do so, we need to open the command settings pop-up. First option is to double-click the needed command on the test area. Second option to select the command and click Edit Test Element. In the Install Application Settings pop-up, we need to specify repository key value. This is a path to the application that was uploaded to your Perfecto Cloud beforehand. After we specified this value, we can click Apply to save the changes. If we don't have the application installed on the device already, we can go ahead and install it manually. We have learned how to do this in the previous video. After the application is installed, we can start it up on the device. To do so, we will click Applications button on the right menu. In the Open section, we need to find the application we are going to work with and click Start Application button. Note that there is an option to both execute the chosen command on the device and add this command to the test. This is exactly what we need. Now you can see a command Start Application added to your test with the test name of the application automatically filled in. Next steps we are going to add with the help of an object spy. To do so, let's first activate the object spy. Now we can choose the email text field and choose a text option. In the parameters section for this action, we can specify the text value. Make sure you have the option to execute this command on the device and add it to the test enabled and click Apply. The specified value was set to the email field. Next, we will set a password value. For that, we will click on the password field and choose the text action. In the parameters section, we will change the type of the value to the secured string, specify the text value and click Apply. Secured string is the best way to add any sensitive data to the test, like password in this example. In the test area, you can see that the password value was added to the command in the encoded format. If you run this test, the real value will be set in the application, but the password value will be hidden in the test report. Now let's add a click on the login button to our test. In order to do it, we select the login button and choose a click action. Make sure you have the option to execute this command on the device and add it to the test enabled and click Apply. Now we can close the object spy. Next step in our scenario is to add a wait for 3 seconds. We can find this command in the left menu and drag and drop this to the test area. In order to set a wait duration, we need to open the command configuration and specify the needed value. Now let's add a screenshot to the final report. For this we choose a screenshot command and add it to the test. The last step in our scenario is to close the application. 
we can add the step by going to the Applications menu in the Device area and choose the Stop running the application option. Make sure you have the option to execute this command on the device and add it to the test enable, then click Apply. Now our test is ready. In the next videos we will learn how to run this test and view the generated report. Thank you for watching the video.